We are from True Math, and in this video, we are going to solve question number fifth of exercise twelve point two. Question says, in a circle of radius twenty one centimeter, an arc subtends an angle of sixty degree at the center. You have to find the length of the arc, area of the sector formed by the arc, and the area of the segment formed by the corresponding chord. Now, first of all, uh, you have given an arc let's say the arc is acb and this arc subtend an angle of 60 degree at the center that means if we join like this at center it will form an angle of 60 degree and here the radius is given to us as 21 cm first of all we have to find the length of the arc we have to find the length of this arc i have already discussed in the previous video that when a circle or you can say when a circumference of a circle is divided by its radii or by chord and if you want to find the length of the arc when a circumference is divided the smaller portion is known as arc and because this is smaller this is known as minor arc and this major portion or major arc major part of this circumference is known as major r now we have to find the length of this minor r and if you want to find the length of an r length of an r that will be equal to theta by 360 and because we have divided the circumference we have to use the circumference formula of the circle and that is 2 pi r now substituting the values r theta here is 60 degree Angle subtended at the center and 360 into 2. Radius is by the value of pi is 22 upon 7, and our radius is 21. Now solve this. This can be cancelled. Six times, seven, three times, and three, two times, and two can be cancelled with this two. So here the answer should be 22 centimeter because we have to find the length. So SI it will remain centimeter. So here the length of the arc should be 22 centimeter. Now let's solve the second part. You have to find the area of the sector formed by the arc. Now this arc, when subtend an angle of 60 degree at the center, is forming a sector, and we have to find the area of this sector, which is this portion. Now to find the area of the sector, we have a formula. Area of a, in that case theta by 360 will remain as it is. Because but here we have to find the area of a sector. In that case, we have to we have to apply here the area of the circle. That is pi r square. So the area of sector will become theta by 360 pi r square. This is how we can learn this formulas. Want to find the length of the arc? Arc is a part of the circumference. So here we have to use the circumference formula. But theta by 360 will remain as it is. Here also theta by 360 multiplied by area of the sector because we have to find the area of a sector. Here we'll use the area of the sun. Okay, theta is 60 degrees. 360 value of pi is 22 upon 7 and radius square is 21 multiplied by 21. 60 can be cancelled six times. This can be cancelled three times. This can be cancelled two times and this can be cancelled eleven times. Now I have already told you if you want to multiply any number. By 11, what you have to do, you have to write 2 and 1, and in between you have to add these two digits. So 2, 3, 1 centimeters square will be the area of this sector. Okay. Now in the third part, we have to find the area of the segment. Here we have to find the area of the segment formed by the corresponding chord. That means here. The chord will be this. This will be the corresponding chord, 
and we have to find the area of segment formed by this chord. So I have already discussed in the previous video when a circle is divided by a chord, it forms segments. And this is the minor segment the question is talking about. So we have to find the area of this minor segment. And I have already told you, if you want to find the area of a segment, what you have to do? You have first of all you have to find the area of the sector. And from the area of the sector, I have to subtract the area of triangle. So from the complete area, if I subtract the area of a triangle, I will get my area of this segment. And the area of the se segment, you already know is 231. So what you have to do, we have to find the area of this triangle. And subtracting this from this, we will get our answer. Now, how to find the area of this triangle? In this triangle, this side and this side are equal, both are, both are radiuses, that means this angle should be equal to this angle. So in triangle, so in triangle AOB, AO is equal to OB, is equal to radius, okay, therefore angle A should be angle B, okay, and because this is a property of a triangle which says that in a triangle if two sides are equal then the angles opposite to them are also equal. Equal angles opposite to equal sides. Now in a triangle the sum of all the angles is always equal to 180. This is angle sum property of a triangle and here A and B are equal and angle O is given to us as by 60 degree so in place of B I can write angle A and this is 60 degrees and this should be equal to 180 this is 2A and this 60 when shifted to that side so 60 minus 180 minus 60 is 120 and if I divide this complete equation by 2, angle A will be equal to 60 degrees. So that means angle A is equal to 60 degree, this will be also equal to 60 degree because angle A is equal to angle B. That means this is an equilateral triangle because an equilateral triangle has all three angles equal and the value of each angle is equal to 60 degrees. Now, how to find the area of this triangle? Let me solve this question here. Uh, if you want to uh, copy this, you can pause the video. You can, you can copy this. And um, So here, the remaining part I am solving here. Now I have to find the area of the segment that will be equal to the area of sector minus area of triangle. The area of sector is known to us as 231 centimeter square and minus area of a triangle because this triangle is an equilateral triangle so I'll apply the area the formula to find the area of an equilateral triangle that says root 3 upon 4 a square and a here is the side okay so it should be 231 minus root 3 upon 4 and side of this equilateral triangle is given to us as 21 centimeter so it should be 21 multiplied by 21. Now if you solve this further, this is 231 minus, this is 21 multiplied by 21, that is 441 root 3 upon 4. So this should be the answer for this third part. Okay, so this is how you can solve this particular question. 
I hope you have understood this one. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any problem in maths, you can directly contact us. This is our phone number. You can call us or you can send us your query on WhatsApp. Thank you.